Hello everyone, uh, we are here in Villa Salviati in Florence. My name is Eva Sinazini from Excel in Gusso. Um, so the, um, we are talking about uh, the open doors of Villa Salviati, which is the last day of the State of the Union uh, event. It's an annual event organized by European University Institute. Uh, so for the open doors of Villa Salviati, the European University um, has organized a series of activities for kids and adults. Um, shows, theatre, um, and also excellent also organize um, Piazza Sapori tasting for everybody to taste the best foods Italy has to offer. So Villa Salviati um, is home of the historical archives of European Union and I'm pleased this morning to be with uh, Dieter Schlenker, the director of um, the historical archives of European Union. So Dieter, um, so, um, what does um, the Open Doors of Villa Salviati celebrate? Mm -hmm. So the Open Doors uh, at Villa Salviati of the Historical Archives of the European Union celebrates uh, the Europe Day, which is a yearly event uh, on the 9th of May of each year, which celebrates since 1985 uh, the Schumann Declaration, the date of the Schumann Declaration, and which is meant to be uh, a day for Europe, where Europe uh, celebrates its uh, unity, uh, its foundation post-war, as a uh, unique uh, and uh, completely new uh, integration, uh, process of integration of European countries. Very interesting. So, and, uh, so, what, so you are the, the director of the Historical Archives of the European Union and I would like uh, to know, so what's the mission of the, the Historical Archives of the European Union? Mm -hmm. Well, the uh, Historical Archives of the European uh, Union uh, has been installed in Florence 30 years ago, so we also celebrate our 30th uh, anniversary this year. And uh, the Historical Archives has a threefold mission. On the one side, we collect, preserve, and make available all the historical documents, all the historical accounts of the European uh, Union institutions. So, just to name a few the European Parliament, the European Commission, the Council of the uh, Ministers of the EU. And uh, the second mission is to also uh, collect and make available to research and to the broad public accounts of main uh, actors in the history of the European Union, the founder generation, uh, personalities like Alcide de Gasperi, mm -hmm. whose uh, personal papers we have here, his personal archives, but also uh, the variety of presidents and vice presidents of the European Commission, of the Council, and of the European Parliament, just to name a few, uh, François Xavier Ortoli um, and Piero Malvestiti uh, from the Italian side. We have their personal archives here um, and we conserve them and make them available for research. Now the third element, and here, there we come back to the open day, mm -hmm. is in fact to raise the visibility of uh, historical archives, of archives as memory, as heritage. Uh, of our European community and of uh, as heritage of this integration process which is uh, unique in the history of Europe which was meant to overcome war and uh, segregation through a uh, unification process which is completely new in Europe in its uh, history. So uh, through these visibility activities the uh, Open Day is one of the main activities per year where in fact the archives that has been installed since three years now at Villa Salviati opens the door to the uh, broad public uh, to last year about 1,500 people that come from Florence and uh, surroundings to celebrate uh, this Europe Day all together uh, through activities, a range of acti activities meant for families and uh, also cultural activities like music, concerts and uh, visits uh, through the gardens and the various buildings. So excited to be in Villa Salviati and for everybody uh, to come uh, this Saturday uh, to see uh, these important archives and, and feel the history and the importance behind that. Uh, okay, Dieter, um, so what's your uh, message, your thoughts about European Union and new generations? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm not so worried, I'm not so concerned about the new generations. I must say we are running now since uh, three years a school program, an educational program, for Florence School and also uh, spreading to schools uh, abroad and in, in other regions of Italy. 
And so we're always touching on the hot topics. Uh, this year we've been debating, so we invite schools to come here and we have a debate with them, kind of a European Parliament debate. Mm -hmm. And uh, we discuss with them the hot topics. This year it was the Schengen Treaty, the, the precious, very precious Schengen Treaty, which is a relief and uh, for all the citizens to be able to travel, uh, travel freely within, within Europe. Um, and in fact, we touched on the hot topics about immigration, migration, uh, security, defense, and uh, basically the message from, from the various schools, and we had a total of about 300 uh, students here, uh, secondary school and high schools, uh, was basically anonymously that uh, the Schengen Treaty has got a high value, uh, everybody enjoys the rights of a European citizen, uh, the children, they want to travel, they want to go abroad, they know a lot about the various uh, member states of the European Union, they are curious and they are open. So I'm not so worried uh, on that end about the youth uh, in, in terms of European Union because I think they are very, they are very active, they are very positive and very enthusiastic uh, about this union. So I see that very, very well. Perfect. So, yeah, get to know each other to be a union. That's a, a important, very important, and that's what uh, we are trying to do on the seventh of May. So, uh, so wish you the best for uh, the open doors of Villa San Viaggi, thank and thank you. thank you to host us here. Thank you for this interview, and uh, well, a happy open day at Villa San Viaggi on the seventh of May. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.